have a special surprise for everybody this morning. Not only is there beautiful morning clouds with the sunrise, but feast your eyes on this. It's been raining a lot the last couple of days, and look at this gorgeous rainbow. What about that, huh? How magical. I see rainbows here quite a bit, but almost never when I'm going to record a morning walk. So this is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, I don't have a lot to talk about today, but there is two things. There are two things I want to talk about that are somewhat connected, I guess. First of all, I might have to cancel my camping trip because almost no one wants to come. I went up to six people who were coming, down to four, back up to five. Now I'm down to three, and one of those is a maybe. Earlier this summer, I had more buzz and more people asking about it than I ever had before. So I assumed this year was going to be a huge turnout. But when I started sending out the emails and the text messages and messaging people on uh, Telegram and Discord and stuff, almost nothing positive came back. I, I heard a lot of, I can't make it, the dates don't work for me, don't have the money. And a lot of people just don't respond at all. So we're looking at like three people now. One of them's a maybe. And I just don't know if it's worth trying to put together the event because I have, I think I have two or three weeks before I have to cancel the reservations to get all that money back. And I mean, it's only like $147, but still, like I would hate to be out that money. So in the next week or two, I'm going to have to make a decision and there's something loud coming. Hold on. It was just a loud car. thought it might be a truck or something. Uh, I hear the tractor fired up over at the little farmstead already. Um, so it's kind of frustrating because I love these camping trips and I love putting them on, but if it's just going to be like two people, it's not really worth it. And another car is coming. Wow. I can't believe that. Two loud cars right back to back this early in the morning. It's just now sunrise. That's unusual. Anyway, I think I hear a third car coming already. This is nuts. I wonder why. Anyway. Oh, it's it's fall. It's later than I'm used to. It means it's closer to time for people to go to work. I'm going to leave this one in. This one's not too loud. So, despite the edits I'm going to have to make cutting out all these cars, uh, I am finally at the old little fence here where I wanted to take a visual of the rainbow because I thought this would be pretty here. Let's see. Yeah, this is not a bad shot, I suppose. Let's see if we can get this better in frame here. Maybe if I go this away down the hill a bit. There we go. Yeah, see how nice? I just love rainbows. I think they're so pretty. And this is why we have to reclaim the rainbow. Don't let the alphabet mafia have it. Rainbows are awesome. They're a symbol of light and radiance and goodness. And if you're a Christian, they're a sign of like, I don't know, purity and God's love and shit. So, uh... Don't let the Alphabet Mafia steal the rainbow. Rainbows are cool. Anyway. So, I guess that's really the long and the short of it. Is, unless in the next week or two a bunch of people come back to me and confirm and say they're definitely coming, I might have to just cancel the camping trip. Somebody's coming. Give me a second. That nice lady uh, I talk to when I see her walking sometimes, and I just happen to bump into her right here on the corner. So I don't I, I don't know like it's I suppose it's later than I thought because it's getting it's getting later in the year. Maybe it's closer to like 7:30 or 8, but I thought it was still like 6:30. But I'm probably wrong about that. Actually, I can check on my phone. What time is it? Yeah, it's 7:30. Okay, all right. It's weird. Like I hate how the the time number changes, even though my sleep schedule doesn't. I've always hated that. But anyway, um. We'll, we'll, we'll jump off here and just uh, wrap this up here at the little uh, drainage pond. Now, like I said, I don't want to cancel the trip, but if it's only going to be like two people, I just, I don't know if that's worth it, man. I just don't know. So, we'll see how things go in the next week. I sent out about 15 text messages this morning. I responded to a couple of emails again just to see if there's anything that's going to come back. And I'm going to check with the two people that have already definitely confirmed and see if they are still definite since I haven't heard from them in over a month. So we're going to see exactly what we can put together for the camping trip. But again, I don't want to cancel it, but I might have to. So speaking of canceling things I don't want to, let's just, oh, hi, Frog. Uh, let's just talk about in general 
me being a content creator and how it doesn't feel like it's good for me. So, you guys know that one of my main issues with doing this full-time for a living the last three years has been I like doing it, but no one in my life wishes I would. My husband especially, he, he doesn't like politics. He doesn't want me to care. My mother, our friends, my cousin that I talk to a lot, they all want me to not care about anything except what goes on in this immediate area. They just don't want me to give a shit about news or politics or international stuff or race stuff or any of this stuff. They just want me to put it down and not care. I don't know if, it's, if that's even possible for me, but my husband did bring up a good point. He said, I'm paraphrasing, but he basically said, why do I want to do something that just makes me miserable that I can't talk about with anybody around here? And he didn't say that as like some kind of mean, like hold my feet to the fire statement. He was just exasperating when he could tell last week after work and reading about politics and talking to friends, he could tell I was worked up. Oh, I walked right into a spider. Oh, look. I didn't break the web. I caught it in time. Look. Here's a little spider. Hi, buddy. Oh, look. It's like a little garden spider. You can see it's pretty shell on its back. Hi, buddy. Hi. I like spiders. They're really cool. Anyway. I hope you can see that. Does that show up? I didn't check on, on camera. Does that show up? I don't know. Let's see. Can I get it in frame? Yeah, there it is. There you go, buddy. Hi. Huh. Alright. Anyway. So, my husband didn't mean that in, like, in, in a mean way. He could just tell that I was frustrated and exasperated and just worn out from having to talk to people and deal with this shit. And he just said to me, why, why do you care? Why do you put yourself through this? And the answer that came back was not very satisfactory. Because the answer I told him was because I feel like somebody should. Somebody should give a fuck about all of this stuff being done. Somebody should talk about it. Somebody should care. And I have the wherewithal to care. I have the voice to talk about it. And... I feel like I guess I've done some good in the world. Like I've, like when you look at all the people that have come and gone on my channel, right? Like I've probably talked personally to over a thousand people, and who knows how many more thousands—not that many more thousands—but who knows how many few thousand people I might have influenced with my language and my words. Well, if only one percent of those people do something positive and meaningful and contribute to racial stuff or country stuff or just making a positive local community, then that's still, you know, several people if it's only one in a thousand. If it's one in a hundred actually do something constructive that I might have influenced, then that's dozens of people. Maybe. Oh, look, there's a little frog. Look, you see him jumping? Oh, there he was. Dang. Let's see if he, if he can I'll jump again. He's right down here. You want to jump for me again? Where'd you go, little frog? There he goes. Right there. Oh, well. It's really hard to catch the frogs on this, uh, on, on the cam because they're only like this big when they're, uh, when they're in the camera. Normally they're about as long as my finger, but it's really hard to catch them on the, on the camera. So, anyway, I'm just, it's my usual lamenting of why am I doing all this? I make almost no money. It's a huge emotional burden and headache for me to just do these, just dig through the news trough every week. All it does is just make me frustrated and angry. And especially since I've discovered the go free method. Like, yeah, it's good, but, it, but in a way it sort of destroyed my ability to really enjoy anything that my, my, everybody in my life does. They want to play games, they want to watch movies, they want to talk about shows. And it's all just full of anti-white mind cancer. And so I just disengage and don't look or I don't want to talk about it. And so, in a way, this and, and going free and all of this stuff that I talk about for the last several years, it works counter to me having a healthy relationship with anyone in my fucking life. Are any of you that way? How have you dealt with that? I want to know because I'm not dealing with it well. I've just... I have made some inroads in healing my relationship with my mother and my husband. 
or best friend guy, whatever. I, I, I say husband. You, you guys know the situation. It's just my best friend. And so, I did I walk through the spider web? I did. Look. Uh, ooh, magical floating leaf. Look at that. Magical floating leaf. No, it's just a spider web. All right. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> How do you guys deal with that? Do you? Do you have to deal with that at all? Am I just an obsessive nutbag and I'm not normal? Like, I, I obsess about this stuff to the point that I can't really think about or see anything else in any fiction, in any cartoon, in any advertisement or video game. I'm just, all I see is propaganda and angle and spin and loaded language and why did this, this artist or this producer make this choice for this character? Like, why do they want this person to present this way? It's like, my mind is just... It can never put down the stuff I've been working on, or working with, I should say, the last five or six years doing this channel. And especially in the last three years or so, since I've just started doing only this for money. I don't know, man. Like, oh, walked into another spider web. My goodness. That's, no, that's just, a, that's just a little guy. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's so small. Anyway. Lots of spiders out this time of year. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go over here. So, I know this video is drug on. I don't really have that much to say. I'm just frustrated. Frustrated that so many people early on said they were going to come to my camping trip and now almost nobody is. And I'm just frustrated that the thing that I have become passionate about these last six or seven years, the, the whole reason I made a fucking channel is something that everyone in my personal life rejects and, wish, and wishes that I wouldn't have. They all wish that I wouldn't have gone down this path. They all wish that I never started caring about any of this stuff. Because all it's done is make me more unstable and more frustrated and motivated to talk about shit they don't want to hear about. And so I'm just frustrated and I feel more alone than I ever have. I'm trying to fix it, but it just there's no fixing this. I don't know, man. I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should just stop being a content creator and just, just, just cold turkey, just stop it all. Because that's not going to change this, you know? It's not going to, it's not going to make the world better if I quit. I'm not saying it's going to make the world better if I don't quit, but if I do nothing, then I, I'm definitely not helping. If I do something, at least maybe I will. Maybe. I don't know. My husband said he wishes that I didn't care. And I thought that was just a really ugly, sad thing for him to say. But I understand why he said it. Because he sees what it does to me. He doesn't have the constitution to care, to be invested, to fight. And I guess most people don't. I guess that's normal. I just, I, I, I reckon that that's a normal thing. I wish it wasn't. So hell, I don't know what I'm even fucking saying. I'm just... Every week, it just gets harder and harder to care about doing any of this. About doing anything. Because nobody in my life gives a shit. None of them celebrate what I do. None of them celebrate my successes. They don't even want to hear about my successes. They don't want to hear about my camping trips. They don't want to hear about the people that I've helped network that have started building small families, or I'm sorry, building small communities around their families. They don't want to hear about how I'm connected to the OGC and we're having new chapters springing up all across America. They don't want to hear about how I've positively helped influence people running for local office to start taking back our damn country. They don't want to hear about it. They don't care about white erasure and anti-white meme pathogens. They're sick of me talking about it. So I guess I just shouldn't. And when I, and I'm just a frustrated, lonely, obsessed weirdo on the internet. And I don't know how to fix that. If anybody knows how to fix this, if anybody has lived like I've lived and come out the other side better for it, let me know. Let me know what to do. Let me know what you did. Because, man, I like being an entertainer. I like making jokes. I like talking about things that are popular in culture. I like that. In that, in that avenue, I guess I, my, my calling might be comedian. I don't know. But, like, I enjoy doing what I do with the streams I do. I enjoy it. That activity itself is fun. 
What's really killing me is how everyone in my life is not on the same page. And it's like we live in different worlds. And I have nothing in common with the people that I'm supposed to love and have the most in common with. It's just, it's pulling me apart and breaking me. And I don't know how to fix it. If any of you know how I could fix it, or if any of you know anything that'll help, let me know in the comments, please, or email me. Let me know, because I suffer. It's hard. I hate it. I want to do what's right. I want to help. But I also want to have a life that I enjoy. And I don't really. Like, seeing my friends every few weeks, or every couple weeks, a few times a month, uh, playing that, that stupid tabletop game, Age of Sigmar, that's kind of fun, I guess. And, like, I started painting miniatures again for it, and that's kind of good, I guess. Like, it's not a miserable activity, but it's not fulfilling either. Because it's just a hobby that's just spinning the wheels until I die. It's not meaningful. Like, is this what it's like to be driven and be motivated and have, like, a warrior's call to arms? Is, is this, does it really just make you obsessed with the war itself, with fighting and with participating to the expense of everything else that matters? Is this what it's like? Let me know. If you're out there and you've been fighting this culture war and fighting against these anti-white Jews or anti-white Marxists or whatever it is you want to call these people, if you've been fighting against them for years and you're a lonely, isolated mess like me, let me know how you deal with that. Let me know how you get by. Because I, I, I'm not, I don't see myself being healthy and lasting many more years if this keeps up. Something's going to have to give. So, I don't know. I'm just looking for advice. I'm just looking for something. Because, man, I just don't get anything from the people in my personal life. They're good people. They're just normal people that don't want to hear about anything abnormal. Or anything that's outside of their comfortable, they still, their mind still lives in the 90s lie. Like, all of them, everybody here, even the younger people that weren't even really old enough to remember the 80s and 90s, they act that way too. It's like this weird, it's like this, this illusion spell that's been cast on everybody. And they just can't face reality. They're just not allowed to, to realize shit has changed for the worse in the last 20 or 25 years. It's like nobody can even acknowledge that. It's like they gotta roll a die and make a will save to even be able to acknowledge the things I say might be true. And I fucking hate that. I hate it. And I keep thinking, I must be the problem. I must be the problem. There must be something wrong with me, because nobody else I meet is like that. I shouldn't say like that. No one else that I meet around here is like me. That's, that's what I meant to say. Anyway. I'm going to wrap it up and head back, I guess. I got Again, I have to dig through the news trough and make a stream tonight. If you have anything that you think could help me, email me, text me, call me, let me know in the comments. I want to feel better about life and my friends and family and loved ones here. I want to not want to just leave them all behind, even though it feels like I should. That can't be healthy. I know it can't be. I need help. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll be back with more Gulag Cafe this week uh, with uh, Chris, I think. Anyway, have a great week, everybody, and uh, keep heart. I do the same, even though it's hard. I keep heart. So uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. God bless.